Hey guys, so what do we have here is the uh, Samyong AF 35mm f2.8 uh, FE full frame mount lens for Sony. And uh, uh, <coughs> they also go by the name of Rockinon. Uh, it's a Korean manufacturer. And uh, I've got this lens because uh, the 35mm Sigma f1.4 art lens that I've bought apparently had a more function and non-functioning AF so I returned that lens actually the lens is in exchange for a different one and I bought this one because my friend uh, actually bought the exact same lens and I was playing with with this lens and I was quite impressed by what this little pancake lens can do uh, as a 35 millimeter f 2.8 and uh, so I bought this one I bought it used on eBay and I think it cost me about $240 shipped. Uh, and the condition of the lens, of course, um, is like new. Uh, so I'm going to take it out and give it a few tries on my uh, a7 III camera and then let you guys know what I think of, of this little tiny lens. <clears throat> so right off the bat, out of the box, uh, a little nice uh, lens case and it feels super light almost no weight at all and uh okay so out of the plastic bag and the lens itself is of course made of plastic and uh, uh super super light uh the cap is kind of interesting so the cap is uh you can you can remove this there are two caps one is over here it also works as a lens hood and uh, you can leave it on so it works as a lens hood and then you can remove this cap which is basically the the lens protector so with this cap moved you expose the lens right over there which is a like a super super tiny uh, little glass piece in the front uh, interesting design and uh, of course open the back take a look so it's like that um, not bad They've done quite a lot to uh, try to minimize the uh, the light reflection on the back of the lens. And of course, with this little interesting hood, you'll be able to get some glares out of the way as well. If you remove the hood, it's like that. It kind of looks funky, um, if you ask me. It looks like a like actual eye from, uh, from some sort of uh, reptiles. Uh, but anyway, it's a 49 millimeter filter. Uh, quite rare I don't know where you can get a 49 millimeter filter but it is there you can but I, I don't I don't actually think the filter is necessary because the lens with the hood is really really recessed so I'm gonna put it on my camera I'm gonna just test the general AF speed um, and of course on the camera I had the Sony 50 f 1.8 which costs the exact same amount of money as this 35 uh, 2.8 from Semyon. So put it on. Let's give it a try. And now this lens actually truly makes uh, this camera a portable workhorse uh, because right now it's like it's super super compact. And I love 35 millimeter because uh, it's so versatile. You can you can you can shoot some close up portraits with this. And if you want some more of the uh, environmental detail, you just stay back a little bit and then you get everything. So, which is really nice. Gonna turn on the camera. And I'm just gonna give the EF a try. And right now it's seeing the single EFS mode, not continuous focus. And I have pre-focus uh, enabled, so try to find some objects. <coughs> Flip out might be easier for you guys to see. And of course, it's it's silent motor. The focusing is very quiet. Um, and honestly, I think this 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 camera. This lens actually focuses faster than the Sigma f1.4 uh, that I had in the uh, AFS mode. 
because that camera actually had a l AF hunting problem going back and forth when you're trying to lock on in the AFS mode. Uh, so I'm gonna switch off AF AFS and go into continuous shoot. And it's able to lock onto the subject most of the time. The focusing sounds a little noisy compared to if I'm actually using a Sony lens. This is a fairly noisy AFC focusing. But it does lock onto uh, objects just fine. So I'm gonna change to the wide automatic area AF. And it locks, uh, it locks very quickly. So the continuous AF shouldn't be a problem. Let me play with the video mode and let's check out the, uh, the AF performance. So I'm gonna have this in the front. Okay, let's start. Basically right now the lens is picking the focus point. So now it's focused onto the lens case. And now it's focused on the back. And of course the windows and back onto the lens case. In general it works decent. Uh, I can hear the AF working. So the AF is, uh, is definitely slightly noisy. And uh, in terms of the AF speed, it's decent because right now I have every uh, the autofocus setting at, at default. I didn't use this, I didn't change the AF sensitivity at all. So everything's default, so it's not focusing super fast and it's not changing the focus super fast. But from what I see here, it focuses just fine. Okay. So of course I'm gonna go take it into the field and uh, take some pictures and then come back and I guess do a post unboxing update and see how well the lens performs actually out in the wild. But for now I really love the uh, really love the form factor. Like if you have this lens hood removed, it's it's a super compact lens. Like you can take anywhere, uh, and it's not so obnoxious like the Sigma 35, which like protrudes quite a lot. Uh, granted, the Sigma f1.4 is great for portraits, uh, especially if you are, you know, doing paid works. Uh, but I think this would be great for, you know, personal use if you're traveling around a lot and you're just, you know, photographing the kids and the pets. Uh, this lens should just do the job just fine. And the best part is only $250. Um, while the Sigma f1.4 35mm is $900. Uh, so keep that in mind when it comes to making decision on the lens purchase and I hope you guys find this video helpful. So if you do, please hit like or subscribe and uh, if you have like anything you want to talk about about the lens, feel free to write in the comments section below. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching and take care.